Hey, how's life? How's the weather? And how is your cow? Quick shout out to MJ and Aquamelon for actually commenting in some of my previous videos. It really sparks joy for me to see these comments. Because, you know, I ask in every video how you are, how the weather is, and how your cow is. And I genuinely want to know how they're going. And how many of you actually have cows. So thanks again for that. Also, yes, I have fingerless gloves now, if you haven't noticed already. It's like a whiteboard duster on your hands. It's pretty useful. Hmm. Do you like superheroes? I sure know I do. And before you ask, I love both DC and Marvel. I grew up watching all the cartoons, going through trivia and lore with my family, and borrowing comics from the library as I got older. Sure, I know a whole lot more about DC and have been exposed to so much more of that universe than Marvel, but I still think there's so much to appreciate about both universes. And to critique. I'll gladly accept anyone saying that most of DC's films suck, cause they kinda do. Though they didn't do too badly with Wonder Woman. And Aquaman did surprise me. That was essentially a live action version of Throne of Atlantis. And the MCU has been set up really well. Sure, I get annoyed that it's not really accurate to the comics or cartoons, which are basically just animated versions of the comics with some interpretation, but as a whole multiverse. I just consider the cinematic universe to be another one of those alternate realities. Maybe there just happened to be an alternate timeline where all the DC characters were sort of messed up and played along with dumb storylines, getting caught up with the fact that two people's mums can have the same name. Martha. If you've ever been to a cinema with me to watch a superhero film, I deeply apologise. If you were ever unlucky enough to be sitting beside me in any of those films, you would undoubtedly have left the cinema with a whole lot more useless knowledge than you'll ever need in your lifetime. I love giving people fun facts and stuff about the comics and characters. I, I can't help it. Because if I made any of these films, you can bet your spaghettios that I'd at least include Adam Warlock in Infinity War and Endgame. But I guess they kinda gave Doctor Strange that role. Or a part of it. Nah, but seriously, I enjoyed these movies. An amazing finish to a decade of Marvel films. Even if I was talking a little too much, it was good. I'm surprised I haven't been kicked out of the cinema yet. I mean, I've been told off a few times for constantly making comments to my superhero nerd friend who actually gets what I'm rambling about. You're the best mate. Anyway, I feel like I should probably have a point to this video, because this is nothing but a ramble so far. Am I asking for friends? People with shared interests? Do I just feel the need to vent out my frustrations with the DC Cinematic Universe? Maybe it's a combination of all of them. I know when I was younger, superheroes was a pretty common trend in the short stories I wrote, and the games I played with friends at lunchtimes. There was always something so inspiring about the idea of there being superheroes out there in an alternate universe, willing to sacrifice themselves for the sake of their city, the world, the universe, whatever. Maybe I'm a superhero in an alternate universe, or even a villain. Maybe I had a tragic backstory that led me to villainy. Maybe I was granted powers by an ancient wizard, or a power ring from an alien, or perhaps I was the result of a mutation experiment. Even the smallest choices and differences in someone's life could entirely change their story. Kinda like in writing, where if you change one detail about your character you have to change the entire piece. So the moral of the story, kids. Stay away from radioactive spiders. Um, and your choices matter, and they can be the difference between you becoming a superhero in someone else's story, or the villain. I didn't mean for this to become so inspirational, but I guess that's the INFJ in me coming out, eh? If you're still alive after this wild ride, why not hit that like button and support me by subscribing and checking out some of my other videos. 
And as always, keep smiling and brush your teeth. Spaghetti-o out.